Well, hello, hello, y'all. This is Latka coming at you with some Hydraineer. I, uh, I haven't touched this in a long time, and I've never put it on the channel, obviously. But it just got a big update, 2.0, and I'm really looking forward to uh, trying it out. Now, I did, I have a little profile. Uh, you, we're going to delete that one and that one. Yeah, we don't need either. <clears throat> but we're going to do, I did, I did that to test some settings. Uh, this is actually the third time I'm recording this video. Um, the first time I had some encoding issues. Second time it recorded at 360p, um, which was just disgusting. You know, can't watch that. Um, yeah, we'll just go with Laka. And, uh, so here we are with this game, Hydraineer. I'm going to start a new game. And so the whole point of the game is you take this shovel, you come over here, drop the shovel, because we need this bucket. And we are just going to dig a hole, fill this bucket with dirt. Take the bucket, dump it into the pan, get some water in the pan, take the brush and brush it. <clears throat> and now I have a piece of iron ore. And that is the whole point of this game. Um, and some of you might be going like, wow, that's kind of boring. But, you know, it's a factory building game. So eventually, instead of using a shovel, You'll come over here, you'll get the the forged iron drill, you know? You eventually get conveyor belts, uh, there's a forging system, you know, the anvil, the forge, <clears throat> there's fishing. So there's, there's quite a bit to the game, and it just, you make exponential gains, right? So right now, I'm doing baby work with a shovel. But eventually, oh, and the, the deeper you dig, the better stuff you get. So we want to do that. Dig in a, dig down, dig deep, dig, dig greedily, you know? Ooh, we got a piece of gold. Who doesn't love gold? But yeah, this is kind of like a, a really relaxing game. You know, you're just going about your day, trying to make some money. I am unfortunately getting not, uh, not lucky with what I'm pulling out of the ground right now. Single pieces of iron. Not the greatest haul. But I think uh, this video will will set up the forge. You know, depending on... Oh, dang. Depending on how lucky I get, um, that could take a minute. Gotta let it sit. There we go. Um, but we'll get a forge up and running. We'll do that. We'll work through the night. We'll work through the night. Get a forge up and running. Maybe make something, although I'm not entirely sure we'll do that just yet. You can forge, like, uh, rings and stuff, you know, amulets, weapons, <clears throat> like a knife, uh, axe, and a sword. Although there is no combat in the game. So, you, the, the primary... Oh, no. The primary purpose of the weapon is to sell them. Sell them for money.
I would I would recommend this game. It's kind of nice, you know, it's like I enjoy chore simulators. <laughs> That's what I call them. Um I really I really do. Like just the whole Oh, here's a list of chores, you know? Go weed your garden. Go uh mine some rocks, you know. Stardew Valley. Mmm, love it. Animal Crossing? Oh, you should see my island. It's beautiful. It's Oh no. I put the uh the dirt in there. But uh yeah. So like chore simulators, little games, um also factory builders, you know, Factorio, Factorio, however you want to say it. Really enjoy that game. Jeez. Don't worry that the bucket's upside down. That that don't matter. It it really don't. Physics does not apply here. Which is funny, because it is a physics-based game. Uh, I think we will... Do two more buckets and go sell that stuff. Go sell that iron ore. Huh? Make some money, see if we can't get a... A little bit of the forge up and running. We'll need some concrete blocks to build the the base of the forge on although that's pretty simple that's uh those are like five five coins a piece uh so i'm not too worried about that i want the bucket over here as well kind of want to uh Make this go a little more diagonal instead of digging straight down now. Don't want to accidentally drop... Nope, don't need that just yet. Don't want to accidentally drop the bucket down there and it's just too far out of reach. You know? That'd be bad. That wouldn't be good. Alright. One more bucket because I already have dirt in there. Oops. Not the whole bucket. Okay. It's not too bad. Not too shabby. Let's go sell this to the jeweler. So there's a there's a bunch of shops around. Um, it's where you get like your pipes, your uh, pieces, you know, the concrete anvil and forge and then eventually logic boards yeah that's right you start to do some computing uh in this game eventually you know when your mind is so big and automated that you have to start using logic machines to get everything done uh i can't remember who I watched, and I, I feel real bad about that. I should look him up, but uh, I've seen some insane, absolutely insane hygienier farms or mines, whatever you want to call them. But uh, yeah, highly recommend watching a few. Uh, if I remember, I'll put it in the description of the game, but I'm having a hard time. Maybe it's in my history. <laughs> huh? Ooh, we're selling all this right now. I think we're going to make 139. A little more than that. Not too shabby. Huh? Huh? Not too shabby. Okay, 166. That's pretty good. Uh, 
That's pretty good. We can build or buy a few concrete blocks. Get the forge, I think. And we'll be good. Actually, no. Yeah. Take the coins now. So we drop the coins in here and we hit that button when we're ready to buy. So I do kind of want the bed. Uh, when this game hits twilight, it just gets so dark. Uh, we'll get the furnace. That's 110. And the crucible. It's not too bad. Can we afford a cast? 170. Four short. Yeah. Ooh, and I didn't buy the concrete. Didn't buy the concrete. We'll probably run the concrete over by hand. Did not mean to pull it this way. Whatever direction you're looking when you pick up the cart is the direction the cart automatically goes. So, like... Uh, we're going to run the concrete over. Well, actually, why do that? Why do that? Why, 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 why? Uh, we want... Like that, yep. So I'm not expecting this, uh, this video to take a lot of time. You know, we got 20, we can buy four, but we only need two. We only need two. And that is a tractor behind me. Um, when you're going long distances, it's pretty good. But right now, we, we don't need that. We got our handy dandy hand cart. Okay, so we're going to build over here. Our whole... <clears throat> excuse me. Our mining operation is going to be through here. We're going to build a little over here. And if we do need to, eventually, you know, we'll move some stuff, but I think we'll be good right here. Put that in there and we'll put our casting block right there as well. And then, guess what? It's shovel time. That's right. It's always shovel time where I'm from. Huh? Just the one, huh? Unfortunate. It takes quite a few bits to uh, make a bar, but we'll get it done. We'll get it done. Uh, we'll get it done sometime but not anytime soon with if we just keep pulling up single bits like that come on let me be lucky 
Okay, we're not we're not lucky right now. That's okay. That's okay. It's not okay, actually. It's it's not okay. Makes me a sad boy. And I'm already a sad boy, so, you know? Double sad boy. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Our bad luck's gotta end sometime, though. I didn't spend all that money to buy this land, to be pulling up single bits of gold ore and ingots. <laughs> but it do be doing me like that, don't it? It do be doing me. But this game kind of uh, reminds me of another game that I'll probably be doing a video of soon. Ah, oh, there we go, baby. Two iron, two gold. But I'd like to, uh, it reminds me of Sailwind. Like visually, kind of. Um, this is more of a factory game and Sailwind is definitely like a uh, delivery, deliverly, oh wow, deliverly. Um, excuse me, my brain's not working, uh, you know, it's, it's basically a package delivery simulation, but on boats, you know, you sail, sail wind, imagine that, uh, it's very relaxing, very peaceful, and then you hit a storm and you're like, oh no. What do I do? But I'll probably do another video of that pretty soon. I, uh, I did a bunch of work on OBS. Oh, also, I think we got something really good right there. We did. So this Claudium Ore is worth like a hundred by itself. Uh, very rare. Uh, we will be selling it. I'm sure it's in a very important late game resource that I shouldn't be selling and just saving up until then. But guess what? We're going to sell it because I like money. And I like money now. Not None of that long term. Give it to me now, you know? Maybe two more buckets, and we'll see if we can't make a, a bar of iron and gold. We'll see what happens. I think that's two pieces, yeah? Yeah. Come on, baby. Give me the good stuff. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. So I don't think we have enough gold, but we definitely... We, sh we should have enough iron. I, I put it away too far. It does take a little getting used to, to, uh, if you notice, like, it holds it to the right, and there's a little circle to the right of my cursor, uh, it, that's where it's going to drop. It takes, it takes a little bit of getting used to it, um, when you first start, and obviously, sometimes you hit the cart, and that's not good. 
That's a sad boy moment. Okay, okay. And actually... Uh, audio... Machinery, water plant... We're going to turn machinery down, I think. And hopefully... Um, because when I put this into the, the furnace, the crucible, it's going to be extremely loud. So let's see if uh, this fixes it. It did not. It did not. I wonder what this is called. And we made a, a... You can tell, you know, it's not a very big iron block. You can make the whole thing like that. But it's a decently sized one. You know, that's, that's what I like to tell myself. It's decently sized. Uh, here's a Claudium. Okay. And we're going to run these up and and sell it. See if we can't buy the bed and the uh, the anvil. See what happens. I'd like to get the forge up and running, but uh, we'll see. Uh, I can actually just two hundred eighty-five. Yeah, there we go. And I should have actually checked the stock market. Uh, yeah, you heard me right. The stock market. There are special items in the game that uh, have special little spots around the world. Where like iron ingots uh, can... No, no, we want those to combine. There we go. But iron ingots can drop or raise in price. Uh, the jeweler will always give you a flat price. But the stock market might give you like 5% increase, you know? And that's not too bad, you know? You, you earn a little more. But also sometimes it's uh, not happy, you know? It, I should have brought the cart and gives you like a hundred and two fifteen nice and gives you 90 percent of the value instead so you just gotta watch out put our bed by the forge do i grab the cart yeah i think so but it's an interesting fun little game, you know? We'll be calling it soon because I have everything. Uh, we need... Actually, no, 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 no. Because we need a construction hammer. How much do I have left? 80? And another two concrete blocks. 52, okay. And I'll be back for the concrete. But it definitely gets dark. And if you're wondering why I bought another hammer, it's because that's a blacksmith hammer. But this is a construction hammer. And when I use it like that, it nails things down. You know, I can't accidentally pick it up anymore. Uh, it only works on furniture. Furniture and concrete blocks, of course. But it's really nice because sometimes you accidentally hit the pickup button and you're sad because... Huh? Yes, put it down. You're just sad.
Please. Huh? Okay. Once it's in there, it's in there. I think it just locks it in place. But we will build it out like so. Put that there. Put our... Well, we'll try to put the hammer there, but it falls like that. Put the casing there. And we'll nail the concrete blocks down in the anvil. Okay, let's go to bed, and then, oh, see what I mean? Let's go to bed. But there we go. We have a rudimentary forge up and running. We can smelt bars. We can, you know, oh, I don't have a grindstone, so you haven't seen me because I've been pretty unlucky. Uh, sometimes you pull up uncut gems and you use the grindstone to shape them. And so let's see here. That's the dagger, the axe, the sword. And here is the ring. As you can see, you need one ingot and one gem. Uh, for some reason, like, it says iron here, and three, and it says gold here, and one. But I have found that I can make uh, iron rings as well. So, I'm not entirely sure that it's necessary for that. But yeah, I think that'll be it for this episode. Uh, dog wants out. I got what I wanted done. Uh, thank you for watching. You'll definitely see more of this. I really enjoy it. Um, but yeah, I've seen some crazy, crazy, crazy builds. And I can't wait to show you mine. Uh, we'll do it together. Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And we will see you next time.